build break. We got the Chicago 2020 ratings. Link in the description from the ChicagoSportsNation.com article written by Lee Gualano. Uh, apologies if I did not say that right, but it looks right. Gualano, Lee Gualano. Uh, he, let's start off with the goalkeeper here, guys. Bobby Shuttleworth, he rated at a 7 out of 10, saying, you know, he became the number one goalkeeper kind of in the middle of the season, uh, er, early on, actually, with Kenneth Cronholm's season ending injury. And he definitely proved himself to be competent. I will say to me, not necessarily, he was definitely good, but to me, he was a backup goalkeeper. That's like a six. What do you guys think there? Jiggly, you want to tackle this one first, bro? I I feel like whenever I give these sort of, uh, whenever I give ratings, it feels inflated, but trust me, it's mostly because I see it as like grading like a teacher where it's like seven is a C, so it's like average. So I, I'm completely fine with him getting a seven. I think that it's, it's average. Uh, he wasn't trash. He wasn't like amazing. We still need to get a new goalkeeper, but he wasn't bad. So he he was fine. He he passed. Uh, yeah, seven's obviously real close to what I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it point five to six point five, just because um there you know he had a few minor blunders um which, granted most goalkeepers are gonna have in a season, but other than that he was obviously very serviceable. Uh, I think everyone here can agree that he's not the long term uh you know long term goalkeeper for this club. But he did what he needed to do. He made some fantastic shot blocks. And um, I'm happy that he got the opportunity to be the starting goalkeeper, too. And he'll probably compete next year for it as well. That's a good point. I mean, happy that he got an opportunity. As a backup, you that's all you're looking for is that one shot, that one opportunity, you know, that Eminem song. Uh, but by the way, everybody, if you could take a moment and consider subscribing to Spitting Fire YT, we'd greatly appreciate it. Helping to fan the flames of Chicago Fire soccer throughout the Chicago Fire, throughout the Chicago area, or and the nation, beyond, whatever, if you guys want to go that far. Uh, but we greatly appreciate it. Smash that like button for Jiggly and Men in Red joining us today. and Or, or dislike button. Let us know how you feel. You, you don't have to hide it. Comment below, as always. We got live chat going. If you uh, if have feel the need to interject, go ahead and do so. We always love to hear from you guys. Uh, the next goal, next was uh, Kenneth Cronholm, guys, with a five. Uh, to me, Kenneth Cronholm, that's a two. But maybe I'm grading too hard. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you could give Cronholm really a rating at all, um, just because he was injured most of the time. But you I can mean, give him a had, rating. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. If you had to give him a rating, it wasn't good. It's definitely, you know, for me, probably a three. Um, he's pretty trash. He doesn't move. He's like a brick. A uh, brick wall, excuse me. So, but a bad brick wall, one that you could circumvene very easily. So, I think uh, just saying a single brick. brick was good. A single brick, yeah. <laughs> a single brick and a very, very big wall, yeah. Wait, that made no sense. Never mind. Ignore just, me. He's just a single brick. He's not a brick wall. It's just a, a single brick that doesn't move. A cone? Yeah, not great. Uh, I, I think, yeah, like. Drop him down somewhere, like maybe a four or three. I the thing, the big thing with me when I was watching this season was just watching him play, and then also on the side, you know, I was covering the NWSL Challenge Cup, and I'm seeing like third string goalkeepers in the NWSL playing better than Cronholm. That's what, like, yes, is and and somebody and I remember I got into an argument with Tyrus on Twitter about uh, about like oh having to stop harder shots, but the thing is. Just look at the positioning in itself. A third string goalkeeper for Portland had so much better positioning than Cronholm did. Cronholm came all the way out for no reason a lot of times. And he never had his body set in the right way. And that's what lost a lot of games for us in the, uh, what was, I forgot the name, MLS's back tournament. I can only remember the Challenge Cup and I keep calling the MLS tournament Challenge Cup. But he, that's what lost a lot of those games for us is just he came out way too far. He was doing stupid things. And I could – I think there's only like a couple of goals I, that uh, were scored against the fire where Cronholm was in goal that weren't his fault. Only like one or two. Absolutely. The, the real issue with him was that positioning. I mean, ter in terms of his – his foot skills outside of that distribution wise passing wise he's not a bad goalkeeper but at this point in time you can't afford to have a goalkeeper who doesn't move and who's always out of position 
uh, as your starting goalkeeper. So that I, that's why I think the you know the starting for the 2021 season, if there is one at this point, honestly, um, is going to be really interesting to watch for this club. Yeah, absolutely. And we've been talking about that. If there is going to be a 2021 season with MLS declaring its intent to invoke the force majeure clause, take a look at a couple of our past videos.